kennel is back open for business several months after a fire shut it down. More than 70 firefighters responded to linear kennels to help put it out. Back on May 9th, crews were able to save about half of the building along with 10 cats and 10 dogs. Unfortunately, 25 dogs did not survive. WNCT's Tamara Scott gives us a tour of the newly reopened facility. We didn't know where else to bring them. Wouldn't have brought them anywhere else. Anthony Mayer has been coming to Lanier Kennels for 15 years. So when he was heading out of town today, he knew exactly where to drop off Rambo and Roxy. They love our animals. And, and you've seen them when they came in, she sat with them. And yeah, so they're really good. The love for animals is just where it starts for the workers at Lanier. After their devastating loss in a fire in May, they knew they wanted a fresh start. Go through a lot of emotions from then to now and it's been a very rough road. They began with safety. We have um, security systems, fire alarm systems, burglary alarm systems. Everything is wired straight to the fire department and the police department. Manager Heather Stanley took me on a tour of their new facility where they treat the animals like royalty. Watch Animal Planet 24 seven. She says it's hard to think about the past, but the motivation was the community. They backed us 110%. I'm excited that when I go away to my doctors, that I know that my dogs are in good care. These girls love my dogs. And Stanley is confident she will never have to look back. I see another 20 years. We were never worried about it anyway. These pups seem to agree. In New Bern, Tamara Scott, nine on your side. Linear Kennels workers live by their motto, experience the Linear difference. They will be operating again on regular schedule.